up everybody welcome back to the channel this is mystic waters and today we are playing ostentatious 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 sorry you guys i am still upset about club mafia like i'm just i'm just upset but i did pick a story um, we're gonna try it. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until Thursday, of course. But hopefully you guys will like it. It seems like it's gonna be good. We're gonna try it and see. And y'all let me know. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into ostentatious, y'all. I've been waiting, honey. I've been waiting, wanting to know what's going to happen to Johnny. What is going to happen? They found out I am pregnant. Okay, pregnant. What we gonna do? Is our baby daddy like is he gonna be whipped? Okay, so the following chapter is from Johnny's point of view. Okay, so we're gonna be Johnny, y'all. We're gonna be Johnny. You are. You are. You are. Okay. Whatever happens tomorrow, know that I am and always will be yours. My heart, my body, my soul. Let's go. As she, wait, as she turned and left me, I saw her quicken her pace. Like Orpheus descending, she dared not look back at me. I felt all the light I had uh, had wait I had to leave me as the door closed behind her. I hoped I had done enough to prevent her from mourning too long. The thought of her pain hurt more than the prospect of hanging. Johnny thoughts of her kept me away from the darkness that was to be f my fate. I could not allow the prickling feeling of fear to creep in and shake my resolve. Of course, I was afraid to die, but I was not afraid to die for her. Johnny, Johnny boy, you are. Johnson, another visitor for you. Who visited him? Could it be? Oh Lord, here they are. Johnny lied, Mr. Bradford, sir, and Mr. Bradford. Stand up straight like a man and look me in the eye. Did you steal from my house? No, sir. How did the stolen items end up within your room? I know that, sir. Wait, I know that, sir? Is that what he said? I know. Oh, wait, he said, I know not. Sorry. <laughs> I know not, sir. Where were you the night of the ball? I cannot tell you, sir. Jesus Christ in heaven lied. They will hang you for this if you know that. This is not like before. You are not at our mercy. The judge will see you tomorrow and he will sentence you to death. We are trying to prevent, prevent that, but you must be honest with us. I am honest, sir, but I honestly cannot tell you where I was. This is just what he was like before. You are keeping secrets, Johnson. I hope they are worth your life. I, I know, sir. Be reasonable, Johnson. There is nowhere you could have been that is worse than what will befall you tomorrow. On your honor, sir. Sir, wait, wait, what? what? Okay, on our, your honor, sir, tell us where you were. It is not my honor, sir, not my secret. Is it Penelope? Have you been sneaking around with her? Confess it to us and we will speak with the judge. He will spare you death. Nay, sir. Johnson, you stupid boy. Have you ever seen a man hang? Nay, sir, they will drop you short drop and you will swing or wait, wait, swing until you stop. It is not a speedy process. It is vile and messy and not a suitable end for you. Please reconsider. We shall meet you tomorrow in the court and see what we can do to clear your name. Think on it. Alone in the dark, I drifted into uncomfortable sleep. I dreamt of my baby. But when I stretched my arms out, I couldn't reach her. This is so sad. The day of reckoning upon me, I almost cried with joy to smell that fresh air. Seeing the sunlight and feeling the breeze on my skin, I smiled, wait, I smiled to the Evans as they pushed me through the door. Move. <sighs> y'all, y'all. This is just crazy, y'all. Are they gonna really, really do this to Johnny, y'all? Like, we already know what's gonna happen, but like, are they really gonna whip him, though? 
I had never been inside the courtroom before. Every stall was packed. I glanced around, but only saw the Bradfords on the front row. She has not come. Good. She should not bear witness to this. All rise for the right honorable Judge Galloway. Thank you. You may be seated. Cassius Johnson. Aye, my lord. You are a servant at Kellerman Hall. Aye, my lord. You are here today charged with theft from Kellerman Hall to the excess of 80 pounds. My goodness. How do you plead? Not guilty, my lord. I see. And so begin the show. I felt detached from it all, somehow at peace with what has to come. I knew there was no other way it could go. Hearing the witnesses Mrs. Bradford brought forward, seeing Paige and hearing the biting jealousy in her voice, I was truly thankful that baby was not here. So he didn't see her. He didn't see her in the crowd. Were you planning to leave? Perhaps, sir. I have no further questions. Since you continue to deny the charges against you, I am ready to make my ruling. My Lord, may we request brief meeting with the defendant? I must say, very well, but be brief. They bundled me into a side room with a guard standing outside the door. Cassius, please be reasonable now. We have spoken with the judge and he has agreed that if you plead guilty, you will be spared death. All you have to do is plead guilty and you will receive a jail sentence instead. How long? 10 years, maybe 15, but it is much better than death. And once you are out, you shall return to your post at Kellerman on my honor. Please, boy, be smart. Take this offer and change your plea when you go back in. I can do nothing more for you. Come now. Well, that sucks. I walk back to the box as though in a dream. 10 years, maybe 15, never smelling the air, never feeling the sun, to be caged within a box like an animal, to never see baby, to see her grow without me, to see her love and marry another, or worse, to try and tie herself to me locked away. Mr. Johnson would like to enter a new plea, Your Honor. He would. I, I could not. I would go mad. I would lose my name forever, branded a liar and a thief, and then lose my mind within the walls. I would lose baby, and I would feel every hideous stab of her falling from my grasp. I mean grasp. <laughs> this was a fate worse than death. I wish to plead 15 years. I wish to cage like a beast. <sighs> I am not guilty, my lord. I cannot lie. Whatever punishment you see fit to give me, I will not tarnish my good name by lying. I cannot admit to a crime I did not commit. Though I acknowledge your authority to judge me, I cannot lie. I will not change my plea. I plead innocent. I dare not look at either Mr. Bradford as the words left my lips. Resigned to my face, I kept my eyes locked in the judge. You stupid boy! Silence! Bold words indeed, Mr. Johnson. In that case, I have no choice. Cassius Johnson, this was it now. I thanked every angel in heaven that baby did not bear witness this moment. I thought of my mother and how I would see her soon. I find you guilty of theft and thereby sentence you to hang by the next or by the neck until no Cassius Johnson is innocent and I can prove it. I beg your pardon, baby. What on earth? No, baby. No silence. What on earth is going on? Please, your honor, I would be heard. Who is this girl? She is my daughter, your honor. I would speak with her first if you don't mind. No, bring her into my chamber. I will speak to her myself. Bradford, you may accompany, but you are not permitted to speak. Do you understand? Yes, my lord. Baby, no, baby, please, Jesus Christ, don't let her. Don't let her ruin herself for me. I am not worth it. I was taken aback into the side room, this time by a guard and baby's uncle, until the judge made his way within. Johnson, I have heard a confession from a Miss Bradford. She claims that you were with her the entire night of the incident. Is there any truth in this? Nay, sir, the girl is fanciful. I saw Mr. Bradford's eyes narrow. He could read me like a book. Very well, in that case, I shall have the girl whipped for lying to the courts. What do you think, Bradford, 200 lashes or? No! She speaks the truth. 
I am the liar. So this is true. You were the Miss Bradford the night of the alleged theft. I, sir. Why were you with her? We, we are in love, sir. I love her. I have done for, wait, I have done for as long as I can remember. Jesus Christ, Johnson. Silence, Bradford. So you confess to being with her intimately. I, you are aware of what this means. I, sir. Jesus, Bradford, what a household you run. I shall return to my chambers and think on this. The door closing, I felt Mr. Bradford's eyes boring into me. I warned you, Johnson. I, sir, I know it. I am sorry. You have ruined her. I felt my eyes stinging. I, why on earth would you conduct yourself in such a way? We, I, I'm just a fool in love, sir. Mary, mother of God, what a mess this is. I have put my neck on the line for you, Johnson, and you have spat in my face of my goodwill. Luckily, you are no longer on my staff. You had better pray that the court shows you more mercy than I would. I cannot bear to look on you. Back in the court, I saw a baby enter with her father. She sat at the front, her cheeks pink and her face pained, her eyes on the floor. A lot of new evidence has come to light. I believe we have two people in custody now, both of whom have immediately confessed. In the light of this, I find Cassius Johnson not guilty of theft. However, I do find him guilty of sexual conduct, misconduct. I sentence you to a hundred lashes to be delivered at dawn tomorrow. This is my final word. <sighs> Dang. As everyone stood up, I felt the guards pulling me back. I fought a little to try and see baby's face, but it was obscured from my view until finally I was removed entirely from the room and taken back to the prison. A hundred lashes at dawn. Lord, preserve me. You are. This scene is free. You are. You get to see Bill and Penny after the trial. You are. You are. Bill, I got here as soon as I could. What happened? I don't know. I think baby must have told them. What? But I got word you caught Robert and... I. we were too late. They will flog him again tomorrow. For what? He did nothing. Sexual misconduct. He did do something, Penny. You know he did. Oh, no. Oh, God. Where is baby? Her father dragged her out of here like a piece of baggage. I'm worried for her. Did they go by carriage? We will never catch them. What are you two doing here? My Lord, sir, we were just concerned for Johnny. It is all taken care of now. The boy will be punished tomorrow, and this is the end of it. But, sir, how much do you two know? No, sir? Let me make myself very clear. Johnson's no longer in my employment. He has betrayed my family, and if I find that others were aware of his crimes, I will not look kindly on them. This matter will never be discussed again, and should you wish to escape my wrath, I would assure it stays that way. Am I understood? Aye, sir. Penelope? Yes, sir. Get back to the house while you still have jobs to get to. But baby, and the baby. Enough now. You heard him. Neither Johnny nor baby would want you to be punished at their expense. We must cease. Well, we've done all we can. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Like, if I would have knew y'all was coming, I wouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> Y'all, I feel like I want to go back and change it, but I can't. I can't, y'all. <laughs> he gonna be whipped. Dang, y'all, I feel terrible. <sighs> if I had time, I would read the next episode, but I don't have time. <laughs> We have to wait until episode 27 to see what happens next. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. And I will catch y'all on another one.